I'm Rick Levin, the president of Yale University, and it is with the greatest pride and enthusiasm that uh, I am here to introduce you to Tom Stites, the winner of the 2009 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Uh, Tom Stites came to Yale in 1970 as an assistant professor after training at Harvard and the University of Cambridge, uh, and he has been a leading figure in the sciences at Yale for his entire career, for that entire period. He's a towering figure in the field of structural biology, uh, and the, the, the prize that he's been awarded honors work that he carried out over a long period of time to identify the crystal structure of the, of the ribosome, one of the most challenging and difficult problems in molecular science. Tom's contributions at Yale span the range from having been department chair to having been a leader, trainer uh, of, of great students and a devoted citizen of the university. Um, we've all been waiting for this for many years as Tom's great work was initially published in 1998 and then in 2000 on the ribosome and it takes the Nobel Prize Committee to, a little time to figure these things out, but we were confident that they would come around at some point and recognize the extraordinary work that he has done. I want to recognize also, before I uh, turn the microphone over to Tom, that he is, this is a well-supported scientist. He has colleagues who have been great contributors to the, to, the, uh, to the progress of his own work, in particular Peter Moore, his longtime colleague in the chemistry department here at Yale. <laughs> And Tom Stites has a rare family because his wife Joan is one of the leading scientists at this university as well, a pioneer herself in, in molecular biochemistry, a, uh, has, has served also as chairman of the Department of Molecular Biophysics and Biochemistry, is also a great citizen of the university, and is also someone who we hope someday will get the same recognition that Tom has gotten today. Joan Stites, thank you. It's a great pleasure for me to introduce to you then to Professor Tom Stites. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, of course. Uh, it's, thank you all for coming. Uh, it, it's, it's a very exciting moment. Uh, and I have to start out by saying how much I owe to Yale and how much I owe to my colleagues. Uh, Rick Levin mentioned Peter Moore, and I'd like to mention Peter as well, because he's been a, a, a friend and colleague and co-worker and co-collaborator uh, for many, many years, and certainly on the ribosome. So I, I very much appreciate his, his company and his work and his uh, participation. Um, there, there are lots of others, of course, who have been important over the years. Uh, in the department. Uh, I remember Fred Richards, who was the person who hired both of us, as well as Peter, as well as Don Engelman, as well as many others in the department. And I'm so sorry that he died in January, so he couldn't be here, because I would like to share this moment with him, because I credit so much to, to Fred. But it's been a wonderful environment, and uh, I, it's been, just a, a, a true adventure to uh, see structural biology develop at Yale and to be able to work on all these exciting problems that we've been studying over the years uh, and finally culminating in 2000 with the structure of the large ribosomal subunit. And I have to say that was, uh, that was an exciting moment because what we were seeking this as a quest um, we uh, tried for a number of years. We started in 1995, and it, it, it seemed to us a bit like trying to climb Mount Everest. That is, we knew it was doable in principle, but we didn't know actually whether we were going to be able to get there, and we didn't know exactly the route 
uh, through which we should travel. But we found the right way. And then when we got to the top in 2000, it was very exhilarating. In fact, the most exhilarating moment I've had in science to, um, to peer into the inner workings of the ribosome and, and, and think about how it works. And our, our goal in working on the ribosome was to understand the basic molecular biology and biochemistry. I, I've always been interested in basic research, and I think this is what the NIH does and should support. Um, but it, it has, as so often is the case, practical consequences, uh, often unseen. Uh, uh, I don't think, well, I, for one, didn't, wasn't thinking about the ribosome as being a, a, a target of antibiotics and that this would be useful. That was never crossed my mind. But then we did realize that this was the case, and we looked at the structures of antibiotic complexes. And then Peter Moore and um, several others uh, helped Finex uh, to help to um, found the company Ribex Pharmaceuticals, which is located in 300 George Street, and uh, the CEO is uh, Susan Froschauer. And, uh, and they've been working very hard over the uh, last number of years uh, to use our structural information plus information that they've been able to get subsequently to design new compounds that might serve as active antibiotics, and I have to say they've, they've been uh, extraordinarily successful, much more than I had anticipated. One always worries whether these things are going to work, but they've done a spectacular job. And so I think they are going to have antibiotics that will be active against um, methicillin-resistant Staph aureus, MRSA. They, they have the compounds already, and one has finished phase two clinical trials, and hopefully uh, it'll make it through phase three and then be out there in the world. So I, I, I think uh, it's important to have practical applications of research, but I think one has to realize how important basic research is uh, to get started, and then, then stuff happens, much of it very interesting. I'm going to make a, a layperson suggestion to the press people here. If you go to the, either the Nobel Prize website or to Tom's 2000 um, article in Science, you see the picture of this thing. And, you know, for a layperson, it's amazing to think anybody could figure this out. I mean, a ribosome is immensely complicated. It's a great big structure with lots and lots of things in it. And the idea that you, that you could infer exactly what the atomic structure of this thing is, you know, um, it's like a giant mystery. It's, a, it's an amazing piece of work. I think you, can, you get an appreciation. Of, just look at the picture of what, of what Professor Stites and Professor Moore and their colleagues have, have managed to do. It's, it, it, it's just fundamental, sweat it out, figure it out, you know, uh, uh, science. It's like solving a gigantic jigsaw puzzle about one of the most important fundamental, you know, aspects of biology because, after all, this is the protein machine. This is the factory that makes the proteins that that are the source of life for all of us. So it's, it's a fabulous accomplishment. We're so proud and pleased that, that Professor Stites and Yale have been recognized today. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. <laughs>